Good evening. Welcome to M1's English language news, Hungary reports. I'm Hainal Katolt with today's news from Hungary in the Carpathian Basin. Let's get started. Police officers and members of the Civil Guard stopped 15 illegal migrants during their joint duty over the weekend. They held an in-depth inspection, which means that they didn't patrol along the border. They went farther inwards from it. They inspected areas where immigrants could be hiding. The biggest group they've caught so far was a group of 10 Afghani citizens on a road by Herzeg Santo. Despite the physical and legal border closure, immigrants still try to enter Hungary at the southern border. Authorities caught several dozen migrants in May. They stopped 12 immigrants at Herzeg Santo on the first day of the month and five illegal border crossers at Kelebia the next day on a train from Serbia. They apprehended 18 Afghans at Herzeg Santo in the following days and six Afghan citizens at Kelebia hiding underneath a train. Police officers found three illegal border crossers hiding in the cargo of a truck at Ruska on Saturday. Because of everyday migrational pressure, the National Civil Guard has also joined the control. They were on duty all weekend and coming through hundreds of square kilometers along the southern border. They caught 15 illegal immigrants. A group made of 10 Afghan people was stopped on a road by Herzeg Santo. On Sunday, four Afghan and one Turkish immigrant were also apprehended on the road between Herzeg Santo and Bujak. The president of the National Civil Guard's Border Protection Branch said that immigrants are trying every trick in the book to be able to move on to other countries. So the action this weekend was focused more on possible hiding places. These are usually brushy areas or in forests. Of course, you can't really walk around in the middle of a field because you can easily be spotted from afar. So the Danube's flood area grants great coverage and even tells you which way to go the president of the Border Protection Branch said. Civil Guard officers will soon leave for another mission, this time in Chongrad County. The attack on the prenatal subsidy is just another reason to force change in Brussels this May, the parliamentary state secretary of the prime minister's cabinet office said. During the day, the European Commission wrote that there is no inquiry on the topic. The government spokesperson Istvan Holik said, however, that they've consulted with the commission three times already and the Brussels-based body voiced their objections there. Viktor Orban announced the prenatal subsidy as a part of his seven-point family protection action plan in February. Through it, the state gives an about 30,000 euro preferential loan to young parents and their debt is erased upon the birth of their third child. On Saturday, Hungarian daily Magyar Nemzet was the first to write about the European Commission's objections to the prenatal support that aims to help families. There's a fundamental difference of opinion between Hungary and Brussels. While the government would solve demographic issues by supporting childbirth, Brussels would do the same with migration, said the state secretary of the PM's cabinet office on public radio. Csaba Dömötör added, this is another good reason why we should demand radical changes in EU policies through our votes on the EP elections. The European Commission reacted in a statement. They wrote that no inquiry has been launched about the prenatal subsidy. The European Commission criticized the prenatal subsidy in the preliminary discussion phase, the government spokesperson said. Istvan Holik went on to say that Brussels' body could have given their approval, just like with CHOC, the family home creation program, but they didn't. Of course, if the Commission continues to deny that these consultations existed, then the government is ready to bring the exact date of these consultations to light already tomorrow and to publish the records even. Regardless of Brussels' objections, the government insists that the prenatal subsidy be available for every young couple from July 1st, he said. Istvan Holik added that family and children come first for the Hungarian government. Viktor Orban welcomed the CEO of the Russian nuclear energy corporation Rosatom at the Carmelite Monastery. Their talks focused on the progress made on the project so far and its next steps. The prime minister said that the construction of the plant's two new blocks will significantly improve Hungary's energy security and contribute to its energy independence and achieving its climate protection goals. 
He added that the project is fully in line with Hungary's national interests. The Eurovision Song Contest has begun in Tel Aviv. Their opening ceremony ended not long ago. All 41 performers have presented themselves to the audience. Joci Papa is representing Hungary this year with his song titled My Father. The Hungarian contestant will be performing on Tuesday at the first semi-final. The final will be on Saturday. Public Media's Duna Channel will be broadcasting it live, as always. The song is called Heaven. Performers were welcomed like stars in Tel Aviv at the venue of this year's Eurovision Song Contest. The representatives of each country walked the several hundred meter orange carpet on the square before the local national theater, the Habima. Fans could take photos with the contestants and ask for autographs from them. Good evening, Europe! <laughs> This year, Yoti Papo is representing Hungary with his song My Father. The singer from Tota has been in Israel for a week with his team. <laughs> During that time, he's had several stage rehearsals. He's sung his song on the stage where the performances will take place several times. Yoti Papo has once represented our country already in Kiev two years ago. Other than the rehearsals, Yotzi also performed at an event hosted by the Hungarian Embassy to Israel on Saturday. He sang his song together with the audience. He said that it's a great feeling that people who live there know it and like it. It's a fantastic feeling that they know my song and that they were able to continue singing when I stopped singing the chorus. It's great feedback that I'm on the right path. I'm happy, he said. The song contest's first semi-final will be held Tuesday evening. Yoti Papai will be the seventh to perform his song. If he goes on to the next round, he can also sing at the final on Saturday. The Dürer Audi Handball Club triumphed in the Women's Handball Champions League by defeating its Russian opponent in Budapest on Sunday. On the second day of the final four, the Hungarian team beat Rostov Don 25-24. With this victory, Dürer has won the Champions League five times over the past seven years. Everyday life in Gönü, a town on the right side of the Danube, has been intertwined with boating for centuries. A themed exhibit presents local boating dynasties, treasures and fishing artifacts. Visitors can also see rare tools such as water filters made out of limestone that clean the Danube's water and made it potable, or a petroleum stove. A North American porcupine was born at the Mishkoid Zoo. The baby was born in mid-April. It's hardly three weeks old, but it's already sunbathing, discovering the enclosing, and its quills, used for protection, are already sharp. For now, the family of three will stay together, but the baby will later be moved to another European zoo. North American porcupines don't reproduce often. About 10 are born in Europe each year, which is one of the reasons why the Mishkoid Zoo is very proud of its newcomer. That's all for today. You can catch Hungary Reports after the 11 p.m. Hungarian news and online. Stick around for other foreign language news broadcasts. Thanks for watching. Good night.